eight seven six five four three two one ignition engines full power and lift off go falcon go transporter 15 MOD chamber pressures are nominal. At T plus 31 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We're, curr we're currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress Power on the vehicle. Max Q is reached when the air density of the atmosphere decreases faster than the increasing speed of the rocket. Mark 1. Max Q. And there's the call out for Max Q. Merlin engines are back at full power and we're out of the throttle bucket. From here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, resulting in less loads on Falcon 9. So coming up next, we'll have several events happening in quick succession, starting with Miko, followed by stage separation, and I'm sec back, chill. second engine start, or SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage. Then the MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. This engine burn, lasting several minutes, will propel the second stage and our payloads to orbit. After that, the fairing will jettison from the second stage, as it's no longer needed to protect the payloads once we're in space. Nominal trajectory. We should be hearing the first of these callouts in about 10 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. I'm back, start up. And there you heard and saw those three events that happened back to back, including main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Coming up next will be fairing separation in about 20 seconds from now. We should be hearing that call out for fairing separation in just a few moments from now. Fairing separation confirmed. And there, we just heard confirmation of fairing separation, along with a view of those two halves separating from the vehicle on your screen. As a reminder, those fairings will make their way back to Earth for recovery. The next major milestone coming up is entry burn on our Falcon 9 first stage, which is scheduled to occur around the T plus 6 minute mark. The entry burn is used to slow the first stage down as it heads back towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. We're currently in our first MVAC burn, and this burn should last for another few minutes. The next milestone will be the first stage entry burn, coming up in about two minutes from now. Today, Falcon 9 is performing two burns in order to land. The first burn, known as the entry burn, slows the vehicle down before hitting the denser parts of Earth's atmosphere. Without this burn, we'd only be using the atmospheric drag to slow down Falcon 9, which would add extra stress to the vehicle. Following entry burn, the booster will initiate the landing burn, which should slow the vehicle down even more for a successful landing. When Falcon 9 fires up the center M1D engine for re-entry, the vehicle will be flying through Merlin's exhaust gases, 
exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. You'll see these marks across the flight-proven Falcon 9 first stage fleet, and that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. Today's booster is a veteran and no stranger to rideshare missions. Having flown 29 missions prior to today's flight, including Transporter 14, Bandwagon 2, Transporter 9, and Transporter 8. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage that help steer the first stage as it returns to Earth, and we have a great view of two of them on our screen right now. We are moments away from the beginning of the entry burn. You should see the graphics light up as the engines do on the bottom of your screen. Stage 1, entry burn startup. Stage 1, FTS has saved. And there's the call-out for the entry burn startup on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn is set to last about 30 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. Stage 1, entry burn shutdown. And that concludes our entry burn. As Both mentioned, vehicles remain on a nominal trajectory. As mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster. Today, the booster is targeting a landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. Today's landing burn attempt will be a three-engine landing burn, where engines one, five, and nine will relight to really quickly slow down the vehicle before touchdown. You can follow along with the burn in the engine graphic at the bottom of your screen. As this burn happens, you'll notice a decrease in both speed and altitude. And during the landing burn, we're expecting the shutdown of the second stage MVAC engine, which is known as Second Engine Cutoff 1, or SES, or SECO 1. We have both events coming up in just a minute. H1 Transonic. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage two, F stage one, landing burn. And there you heard that call out for landing burn start on the Falcon 9 first stage. Again, this is the final burn that this booster will execute before touching down. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. As you saw and probably heard, we, had a, we had a successful first stage landing. 